ladies and gentlemen, we have the news for you this morning. And let me tell you, it's not as juicy as I would like for it to be, but it is news nonetheless. So get yourself something to drink. Uh, holla at your boy. And most importantly, in the comments, I need myself a Jim Stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, somebody shouted out the mic in the video, man. Hey, I do like this joint. I've been working trying to get the audio quality good, and I think that we've gotten there um, with the recent, you know, the recent little updates I've done. So, you know, hey, let's just get right into the news. Uh, on Twitter, man, Cap, can we get camera now? This is something that I saw, and I saw Ibar Tezo. He put this up a little while ago, and it just sums up the 2K community pretty much in a nutshell, man. It says, you win, you're a tryhard. You lose, you're trash. You, you play a lot, you're a no life. You don't play enough, you're a bot. You make a white, you got lucky. You miss a white, you sold. You break someone, you got no skill. You got broken, you got exposed. You can never win with this community. Just do you. And that's probably one of the most important things that I can tell you. Just do you. Now, I will say one thing. I agree with a lot of what he's saying, but if you make a white, uh, you, you didn't get lucky. It's the people, the people that I can't stand are the ones that I'm playing against, and they make three or four consecutive bounce back 75% whites. Those are the ones that I can't stand. Like, I, I, I definitely get that we got flexible release and all of that. But when you got people in the game, bro, that they, they have not made anything but whites, it's like, come on, man, come on, man. Like, you know, it really gets annoying. But hey, it is what it is. Everybody got to do them. Everybody got to play the game. Everybody got to do it, you know, the way that they got to do it. But anyway, um, what do you guys think about that right there? I think that narrative sums up the 2K community in a nutshell like when i was out there and i was like a 97 overall the first five days of the game because i couldn't play anything other than my career dude gonna say hey well you know i um i ain't i ain't doing nothing you know you, you are no life so i got a life so that's why i can't be a 97 i don't care if you're a 97 or not i mean you lost the game that's what's that's what's important to me but then he tried to then he tried to try to hustle me yeah i'm in college i ain't got you in college bro do you know what i did when i was in college Four hours a day, three days a week, I had something to do. The rest of the time, absolutely nothing. You can't hustle me with that I'm in college stuff, boy. I played more basketball and video games than anything else in college. Hell, I didn't even go to class half the time. Because I didn't have to, because I still could make A's without going to class. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all let me know, was that cap or what? When you in college, you got nothing but time. That's all you got. You go to class, bro, I had class on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. After 12 p.m., I was good. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I had a lab from um from like 10 a.m. to 11. That was it. That was it. Other than that, I was playing video games on the J Station, which was a computer that I built, or I was in the gym. And and that's that's how my college was. Or I was with Bridget somewhere. So, you know, that, that, hey, that's those are my college days. So, uh, y'all let me know, how does y'all college days go? College, you ain't got nothing but time, so we know that was Cap. He can't, he couldn't have been in college. We know that was Cap, because he couldn't have been in college. He couldn't have known what he was doing. But anyway, I just hate the fact that anytime you do something on somebody in the 2K community, they have a name for it. And and I think that really summed it up. We got to stop that. We got to do better as a community, man. We got we to gotta band together, because this is the only community where people want to come up off each other. Call of Duty, they, they all get together in one house and play the game and try to be the first 10th prestige. This game, we want to, I'm gonna do it by myself, or I claim I'm doing it by myself, and then get mad at somebody that's squadding up when squadding up is the smart thing to do. And then, then we want to try to expose everybody. Why we want to come up off each other in this community instead of just rocking together? My fans can like your fans, your fans can like my fans. And it's just like fans don't even transfer to the up uh, to the next person until people say, oh, it's cool to like that person. I've never understood that. It's such a, in this community, this community is, is such a hive mentality, but everybody claims that they're individuals. I, I just don't get it, man. Like, like it'll be like, well, I got my own thing. I do my own thing. I don't rock with nobody. But then you're using this guy's dribble moves and all that stuff. Like, you, you understand what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. But uh, that was just something that I wanted to point out real quick. On to the next, um, you know, little joint of news that we got, man. Uh, 2K News. Cap, you got to get the camera now when I ask you to. 2K News. Halloween clothes are out and Christmas clothes are out. Hey, look, man. 
In regards to the Christmas clothes, we got a message from my boy, Duke Dennis. Duke, how little. I love 2K, man. It's my favorite game. But at this point, y'all bullshitting us, bro. Y'all be lying to our face, dead in our face. Y'all recycle shit every single year. That's facts. At this point, it's like once y'all get y'all money, y'all could care less about the quality of y'all own video game. Mm. Thirst question. I'm, I'm tired of it, bro. Y'all know I love to take up for 2K, but I can't take up for 2K no more, bro. Like, old dude say, he say, man. I will say this. Duke Duke does take up for 2K, but he's not a 2K shield. So I can't, I, I ain't going to let him do it, do itself like that. So why y'all tripping? And then when the game drops, it's the same neighborhood. Like, what kind of bullshit is that? Facts. And I'm just, I'm just real frustrated right now. And y'all ain't even listening to what we saying. So I ain't got no choice but to publicly show my frustration. You hmm. know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So that ain't even why I made this video, bro. I'll let them do. Drop that mixtape. Y'all dropped the Christmas clothes two months early. I don't know how in the hell y'all did that. But leave it up to 2K to do something like that. Hmm. Y'all dropped the Christmas clothes on Halloween two months early. That ain't a problem. Everybody make mistakes. The ho the mm. Christmas clothes say holiday 2018. <laughs> <laughs> we we been new y'all recycle shit. Y'all been doing right. that for four five years, bro. But y'all don't even care no more, bro. Y'all ain't even trying to hide the fact that y'all actually recycling these these motherfuckers like holiday 2018. I said all that to say this, bro. What you saying, Duke? Tell him what you saying. Running 2K, LD 2K. I, I, I really do like you, LD. Everybody love LD. Wrong y'all. Pause. Pause. Get y'all shit together, bro. Get y'all shit together. Because if 2K20 ain't already dead, it's going to die within the next week, next month. Oh, scope. Well, guys, you guys let me know if you think that's cap or not. Is that real? Is that, you know, like, first off, I haven't seen the holiday clothes. I just know that the holiday clothes are there, and I saw the I saw the update by um, by 2K News, and I saw that the holiday clothes are there. But, um, and so I checked that. My boy gave me, uh, my boy Berg, the second, the second biggest producer on the show, my boy Berg, he said, uh, you should check this video out by Duke. I checked it out. I found it hilarious, but I, I'm not surprised because this is the way that 2K goes, man. Like, like we know that these game developers recycle things and they put them back in the game and they take a feature out just like Madden and then they put it right back and then they act like it's a new feature like gang tackling in Madden and the chain tackling and all that good stuff. Um, juking with the right stick and all that, all that. Like, we know that they remove things and put them back and try to act like they're new. Like, we forgot. Like, I honestly, I understand that you know that you get new people to the game every year. So every year is somebody's first or second 2K. So to that person, it is a new feature. But what you have to realize is that you've had people playing the game for years. I've been playing the game since it was just 2K, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been playing I've been playing these games since it was, uh, I don't know if it was 989 Sports or whatever. But, you know, since the very beginning, since it was $20 in Walmart, the, the one that had Randy Moss on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that was the very first 2K or whatever, like NFL 2K, NBA 2K. I played all the basketball games. So I know when a, when, when a feature's been re recycled. But just like I played with a guy the other day, and he was like, bro, I'm sorry I sold you. This is my second 2K. So he wouldn't know stuff like that. He didn't know about the legacy issues in the game. It's, it's something new and fresh to him. But... And I understand that you're selling these things to those people, but you got to respect the minds of the people who've been buying this game and holding this game up for the last 10 years, the last 20 years. You got to respect our mind. You can't just sit here and act like we don't know that you guys are recycling stuff. And then when somebody asks you a question, a direct question, then you just gloss over it just like this. Like, 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 look, um, like LD2K was saying, you know, they, the, the the original thing was Joe Knows saying the fix is coming. And then Clay Smallbody, which he ain't got no small body, by the way. He a jump start just like me. Hey, Clay Smallbody, you see this video? Holler at me. I need to get you a jump start shirt, my guy. Also, hey, Nelson, hit, hit your boy, man. I got to get you your jump start shirt. But uh, look, check it out. LD, I mean, uh, Zach Timmerman says fix ain't coming. 
Hey, Clay Small about it. He just put it out there and say, when, mf -er? This this been about this been out for five days. And then he just put the peace sign up. Now, normally I guess people would probably be like, well, you know, uh, you know, 2K gotta they have to take their time fixing stuff, blah, blah, blah. But if this were a VC glitch, or if this were a skill boost glitch or something where people could boost their badges instantly, it would have been stealth patched instantly instantly how do i know man look when they had the when they had the unlimited badge glitch where you could max your player out in two games or whatever vc was stacking with that the very first day i watched the videos vc was stacking after my guy put that video out two hours later vc was no longer stacking they fixed that on a weekend monday morning when the patch came out uh, the patch didn't even come out Monday morning, you couldn't do it anymore. You couldn't do the method anymore. You could do it twice and then it was over with. And then when the patch came out, it was obliterated. And then they said, okay, cool. So they fixed it there. So the guys figured out that you could do it in my career. Um, not my, you know, my career on, on the road in the prelude. You could do it in the prelude. You could just have a good game. You could have a good game on the uh, last game. Patched it. Then they figured out where well, you can have a good game on your second game. Patched it. Then they found out you can have a good game on your first game. Patched it. They did all these stealth patches, but they can't patch this. This is why people get so frustrated with 2K and the development team. We cut y'all slack. Like yesterday, I was trying to be nice and I was trying to be, be amicable and hospitable and stuff and say we need to cut them some slack. But with stuff like this, bro, this stuff is potential. The, the things that we're talking about... Those things were not game breaking. It was game breaking for you all because people would not spend as much time on the game and people would not spend as much money in the game because they had a VC glitch. Oh yeah, the uh, stage VC glitch, that was back. Patched it, stealth. They stealth patched that so fast it didn't. It made your head spin. But this right here, this is something that, that I guess it doesn't affect their bottom line. So they're not concerned with fixing it in an expeditious fashion. Or maybe they just don't know how to fix it. In either, in either case, I, I can't make excuses for them anymore. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be done. And if we are not going to patch, I think all issues and all glitches need to be responded to with the zest of responding to VC glitches and badge glitches and things like that. That's what needs to happen because if we can respond to those things quickly, and I, 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 I would guess that they are probably more complex than then an uh, edit menu popping up somewhere that it's not supposed to pop up. I'm pretty sure it's not as complex to fix an edit, uh, edit menu popping up somewhere where it shouldn't pop up than it is to fix a VC glitch, something that's actually in the game. But hey, I digress. I'm not a programmer. And like uh, Chris Mann and LD2K said, you know, I challenge you to, 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 um, to join the team if you think anything in development is simple. It's simple in some cases. It's just not simple in cases where it's potentially completely game breaking but hey it is what it is man uh last but not least man um speaking of that we're gonna segue right into this the demigod glitch uh we had an update required on yesterday uh update required anything big not that i know of boom so that, that right there will tell you that the demigod glitch is still in the game we are looking for a patch we are waiting on it like i said it has not been game breaking uh, to me, Brutus Sim said he did some sleuth work. He did a great video uh, where he did some sleuth work and he saw people uh, going from the menu to the game to wreck. Menu game to wreck. Menu game to wreck. And if you see that happening, then you already know what's going on. You know that they're doing the demigod glitch. So it's still alive and well uh, that I know of. If they fixed it between now and the time you see this video, let me know that it's fixed and all that good stuff. And uh, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Do, uh, do y'all think, what what's up? What's up with this, man? Is the 2K community, are we this in, in this close to being in shambles is the game dead to you i don't feel like the game is dead i felt like this had the potential to be one of the best 2ks of all time regardless of what happens i'm going to continue to put up daily 2k com content i'm going to continue to put up daily game plays uh badge tips all types of stuff like that man i'm going to continue to do that because i feel like every time i push 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 i get my channel rolling and then i stop because the game starts to die, but I'm just gonna push through just like Duke did a couple of years ago, just like Grinding did a couple of years ago. That's how you get yourself to the forefront. And then once you get to the forefront, the next year you just roll. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Same thing Poor Boy Sand did. My problem is I always quit around Christmas time because the game just inevitably becomes stale at that time. And and plus, 
I'm good at other games, man. I'm good at Apex. I'm good at Call of Duty. That's coming up. Y'all want to see me streaming at Call of Duty? Make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'm good at, like, I like too many other games. I'm good at Gears of War. I'm good at other games, so I'm not stuck playing uh, just just one game. It's a gift and a curse. Being good at a lot of games is, is a gift and a curse, especially when you're doing YouTube, because you do the game on YouTube, so you don't always want to stream the game. Do you guys care if I stream different games on Twitch? Are y'all going to watch, or do y'all just want to see me do 2K? If y'all just want to see 2K, put it in the comments. I'll do that. If you want to see me do other games, let me know, and I'll do that. Gemstar shirt will be up in about uh, at 1 p.m. EST. You should be able to buy the Gemstar shirt out of the, out of the store in all colors. We're going to get that up for y'all. We're going to get the dog work. My boy, he's taking the pre-orders now. I'm going to give y'all a way to contact him. And other than that, I'm out of here. Till next time. That's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Hello. Godspeed.